Hey, everybody. Welcome to How To Tuesday. Today, we're going to test some more knots. One of the most popular and strongest, most usable knots in saltwater fishing is the bimini twist. We use the bimini twist to double the line. So when you double the line, you effectively double the strength of the line, and you can use the bimini twist in conjunction with other knots to tie very strong things. Like if you're trying to set a world record, a lot of people use a bimini twist to then attach to another, attach a very light piece of line to a heavier piece of line. Um, you use it in all kinds of different leaders. The bimini twist is used inshore, it's used offshore, and it is a, a knot that should be in your repertoire. If you don't use the bimini twist, you should know some knot that allows you to double the line with uh, good strength. Now, when you hear people talk about how to tie the bimini twist, they'll say, do 15 turns, do 20 turns, do 25 turns. I don't know. Everybody has a different opinion about how many turns that you should do with the bimini twist. And what you're doing is you're turning the line with your hand like this. And the bimini twist looks like a complicated knot. It's really not a complicated knot. If you're interested in learning how to tie the bimini twist, I have a knot course that you can take or you can find it on YouTube. There's a million different videos on there where you can watch someone tie the bimini twist. I have one where you watch it in slow motion, which helps to understand how the line flips over and then rolls back on itself. Uh, but it's really not a difficult knot. It just looks like a difficult knot. So today, what I thought we would do is to test how many turns makes the strongest bimini twist. And so you hear, you know, a lot of times you'll hear 15, 20, 25 turns, something like that when people are telling you how to tie a bimini twist. So I have already pre-tied one with 10 turns, less than what you hear, 15 turns, 20 turns, 25 turns. Let's see if the number of turns has uh, an effect on the strength of the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this. We'll start with a 10 turn bimini twist. Got, the, got it reset. And here we go. Okay, excellent. 13.60 pounds. The reason that is excellent is we are using the Daiwa J Fluoro 12 pound line. So the 10 pound Bimini twist broke higher than the stated 10 pound test on the, on the label. So that's 10 turns. We'll reset. We'll go to 15 turns and see if this makes any difference. I, and just for the record, I never tie a 10-turn bimini twist. Everything I do is, is 15 to 20 turns, usually an odd number. Okay, 15 turns, 12.29 pounds, still in the very acceptable range as we're using 12-pound line, and it's breaking at 12.29 pounds. So it is, in fact, breaking higher than the stated pound test. It's exactly what we're looking for when we're looking to double the line. Here goes the 20-turn Bimini twist. Thirteen point five two, strongest yet. That's, you know, that's what you hear. Most people will say about 20 turns on the Bimini twist. And then we'll go to the 25 turn Bimini twist and see if a few more turns makes any difference. I should have tied one maybe with 50 turns just to see if it makes any difference whatsoever. Here's the 25 turn. 13.88. So we might be able to continue going up, but I don't think that it's necessary. I think at one point, at some point, the number of turns is going to become uh, diminishing returns. Like if you tied a 50 turn Bimini twist, I don't think you're going to continue going up the, the, the line. I mean, the whole line is 12 pounds and we're breaking at 13.88. So you can, you can take what you want to away from this. A 10 turn Bimini twist is pretty strong. A 20 turn Bimini twist is a little bit stronger and a 25 turn Bimini twist, at least in the way we tied it right here. And all of these were tied with exactly the same line, tied exactly the same way, finished off the same way, uh, the way that I always do it. And, uh, the 25 turn turned out to be a little bit stronger, just a little bit stronger than the 20 and a little bit stronger than the 15 and a little bit stronger than the 10. So in fact, on this experiment, more turns did mean more strength. 
You take that into your own fishing, test your own knots just like this. Use this as a rule of thumb, but test your own knots in your own testing ground with the your own line that you're going to use, exactly what you're going to use out on the boat, and you will come up with the strongest way to tie the bimini twist the way that you tie it. And it could be different than this. Point being, test, 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 test. Control the controllable. Know what your knots are capable of. And if you do that, you're going to catch more fish. That's all there is to it. So today, 25 turns wins on the bimini twist. And uh, that's how to Tuesday for today. I hope you have an awesome week. We'll see you next week with another Not Test, Not Wars. <laughs>